What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. So we're focusing on things circulating in the in the internet. You know, would the Pittsburgh Penguins be willing to move if getting Malkin? And uh, you know, as much as I don't think it's, I try not to give credence to it. I think you get a look at the, the the big picture here. If and when they do get knocked out of the playoffs this year, there's going to be an offseason change in Pittsburgh and. I'd say the only player that's 100% safe is Sid, just because you know he's, he's their boy, he's the face of the franchise. Um, I don't think they they will move Malkin. I wouldn't move Malkin personally. I think it's in the notion of it's stupid, but you know you got to listen to offers on on every player. I mean, if Wayne Gretzky can get traded, anyone can get traded. Um, and you know, I think you know, in all honesty, they will be listening. But at the end of the day, I don't think they move. You know, if I Put a gun on my head, tell me I gotta trade Malkin. All right, I want a second line center, solid NHL second line center, Ryan Kessler, Patrice Bergeron type, veteran, you know, established NHL winger under the age of thirty that can can play with Sid. Uh, I mean, I you know, pick pick a number there, you know, Jeff Skinner type, um, and I'm again, I'm just throwing names out there. I'm not. You know, trying to put fuel on the fire of an Evgeny Malkin trade rumor, but um, and then you know, a first round draft pick or two. I mean, you're not going to give this guy away. He's one of the MVPs. You know, one of the elite players in the game. I mean, you can make the argument Pittsburgh's window is closing. Uh, Malkin will be 29 this summer, and Crosby will be 28 in August, which is also the summer. Um, but you know, I just think. The it's easy to make rumors and say, oh, well, if they trade them, they can get this, that, and the other thing. Getting market value back from one of the best players in the games is borderline impossible, whatever way you shake it. And, again, I just picked out two names out of a hat. They don't play on the same team. You couldn't, you know, a Jeff Skinner and Bergeron for Mulligan trade. You know, you catch my drift. Uh, but, you know, I think one thing Pittsburgh will do is they'll inquire about Edmonton's plethora of forwards. And then if, you know, Edmonton was interested in, you know, some of Pittsburgh's young defensemen, go that route. Um, but the whole trading Malkin thing, I mean, you know, it's, it's just a ridiculous notion. Um, and then, obviously, if they, if they do trade him, I have egg on my face this offseason. So. But, again, I, I don't think that's what's going to happen. I mean, if you wanted to, again, move Malkin, get a second-line center, you know, NHL winger to ride shotgun with Crosby, retool the team a bit. Okay, cool. But good luck doing that. Doing that on paper versus doing that in actuality with cap hits and you know different players and also this, you know no movement clauses, no trade clauses, isn't as easy. It's not as cut and dry as you think it is. So you know we'll see how it how the rest of the playoffs go for Pittsburgh. But with the reality of the situation being there, you know their season could end as soon as tonight. It's like all right, you know let's look at the what could happen. So. Again, I put the odds of the game off and get traded at less than 3%, but, you know, hey, you never know. If they do fire other for the new GM, could choose to make a big, bold move and, uh, you know, could spell the end of the Sid and Malko, Malkin duo in Malko. Idiot. Uh, Malkin duo in, uh, in Pittsburgh, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's all. So the power play with CJ on uh, if the Pittsburgh Penguins should trade up getting Malkin. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.